Nathan, title opportunity coming up, David Howe, yeah. must be exciting for you. Yeah, you know, exciting, six fight in, uh, title shot, especially somewhere at home, near home to me in Stoke. Yeah, really exciting, can't wait now, it's just over, under three weeks to go, so I'm just counting down the days. Now it's only uh, early days in your career, you've only had a handful of fights, so do you think people are surprised that this opportunity has come so quickly? Yeah, you know, I surprised myself really, because I was expecting a title shot within 10 or 12 fights, but to get it within six fights is um, good. Excellent, and how much have you seen of David Howe? I've only watched two or three clips of him, I know he's tall, I think he's six foot eight. He works everything off the jab and he's got a good uppercut, but that's really all, all I've seen of him. Does that height, does that give you a, a different sort of challenge? I mean, what you've been working on to sort of counteract that? Not really, I prefer fighting higher people, taller people than myself, because nine times out of ten people is taller than me while well, sparred in here. So I find I've had better spars with people who's been taller than me. So we'll find out on the night. What would it mean to you to get that first belt around your waist? Oh, you know, good, it'd mean the world to me, because obviously it puts me in good stead then, get that first belt around my waist and proceed from there. You're getting a bit of uh, coverage these days, a few people talking about you, there's a couple of people said uh, you've got very fast hands for a heavyweight. Do you have to sort of, um, you know, keep your feet on the ground and not listen to the hype? Yeah, you know, I won't listen to the hype, I just, uh, as I said before, just keep, keep plodding along, keep take each fight as it comes, you know, and see where I end up. Ricky's got good confidence in me, and that's the main thing really, as long as I please Rick and Mike and play in the gym, that's all that matters. Obviously working with Ricky Hahn, he's a British legend. Yeah. What do people think about that and what do you think yourself? Well, you know, my hometown, it's, it's, no one really achieves anything, but for me to do this, it's something big. Obviously, Ricky Ann was my childhood hero, so to get a chance to work with him is something big. Now, an observation that many people made from your last fight in Walsall was that you do quite a lot of left ups to the body in. Yeah. A lot of heavyweights don't do that, and that's something you picked up from Rick. Yeah, that's the Hitman trademark from watching these videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been working out in the gym body shots and that short stuff. So yeah, uh, don't let me fight. Now, on, you know, obviously not want to look beyond this next fight, first title opportunity, but going forward, what's sort of next for you down the line? You know, win this title, do you think you might be pushing towards the English title within 12 months? Oh, for me, you know, I'd love to within 12 months fight for the English title. Um, as I said before, just win this area title first, probably have a few fights in between that, and then hopefully next year get the English title around my way, so I'd love to, love to do that. But first of all, I've got to win first of October. Now originally this fight was going to be on the Klitschko Fury on the right, card yeah. and it would have been a big massive opportunity for you to be in a big arena. But you're top of the bill this time. Yeah. Do you think you know those big arena fights they're gonna come down the line somewhere in the you know next few months? Yeah, I'd hope so, you know. I'd love to uh, get in the big arena fights, but it was a blessing in disguise really, you know, fighting for the title now. Who was meant to be fighting for on the Tyson and Fury card. But I'm quite happy I'm fighting for the title and obviously then big shows will come. I believe as well, with that last uh, opportunity as well to Tyson Fury, Tyson and his team himself wanted you on the card, so maybe opportunities uh, you know, to be on them sort of you know, bills again, providing Tyson obviously uh, retains his title. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. I'd love to get on the Tyson and uh, Klitschko on the card, I'd love to. And yeah, I reckon Tyson will uh, retain his title, definitely. Excellent. Well, uh, good luck um, in the next couple of weeks. Cheers, and uh, We'll speak to you after that. Cheers, Andrew.